Man, there are some things you can get away with and some things you can't. <sighs> sometimes I just try to get away with cheap shit and sometimes it just doesn't work out. From my last video that I had when I did the flybys and uh, I was giving like a car a thorough shakedown, towards the end of the video or actually at the beginning of the video where I'm talking, you can hear the motor running in the background, but I don't know if you guys actually caught it, but the motor was tapping. Oh, I finally got her out and, and was having a rocker arm issue. And I thought it was actually the cheap roller rocker arms that I bought for this car. But what it turned out to be is the actual nut. These are the old GM uh, like hexagon nuts or whatever you call it, the locking nuts. And this one was loose. I mean, I'm telling you, it didn't have, it, it, basically when you screw it down to the pedestal, after a certain amount you get resistance and then you know that's what locks into place well this one was just like you just screw it down and just backed its way up and just started making that dreaded noise but as always parts that i didn't know i had so this is a great time where i'm going to compare the comp cams roller tip rocker arms versus the chinesium no name rocker arm and Stick around, man. You're going to be surprised, actually. So, yeah, let's go to the bench. Oh, yeah. That's loose. Look how easy that is. This is the budget Camaro build of what I did here. I didn't go with a full rollerized rock arm as I said in my previous videos, so on and so forth. Didn't know I had a set of these floating around. Dad gave them to me, had them up in his house. And I thought it was kind of a, a quick comparison showing the comp 1.5 rollers versus some no name Chinesium brand 1.5 rollers. And right off the bat, there's there is, I mean, I can't tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference, except for the fact that the ch cheap Chinesium ones came with poly locks versus the comp cam didn't come with the poly locks, which is crazy. But when you look at the castings, they look almost exactly the same. I mean, like down to the, to the, it's like, except that this is comp. This is like a few little different stampings on here. But the molding and everything looks exactly the way the bearing feels in here, the weight, the, the, I mean, and even even the the Chinesium one feels like it's like a chrome, like a like a better finish almost, like a nicer finish than this. And this is like a, I don't know, it's just it's just crazy how some of this stuff is so close to the name brand stuff. And it's almost like the name brand stuff is giving their information out to the Chinese or to whoever's manufacturing these things to make more money off of their products. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I just can't believe how close. I mean, you if you closed your eyes, opened your eyes up, and it didn't have the comp cam stamped here, you would think it's the same rocker arm. Literally the same rocker arm. Down to, down to even this right here same design and you actually get less you actually don't get a poly lock with with the uh, the more expensive comp uh, rocker arms okay well quick comparison i'm gonna go change these out in the next video i'm gonna flog the car down again and make sure i get rid of all the, the valtrain gremlins 
In conclusion, if anybody can give me more information on the comp of what I'm talking about here, if it's really, I'm just confused because when you pay more money for the trusted brand, you're thinking you're getting a better product. And to me, it feels like they're allowing some of these other manufacturers to make their stuff. Or if these other manufacturers are actually making the stuff for Comp Cam or any of the other, you know, valve train or aftermarket parts or anything like that. So if somebody can, you know, that knows about this stuff better than I do can explain maybe in the comments below what's really going on here because in my in my eyes these two parts look identical absolutely identical weight feel everything grain of the metal down to the molding um, with no variances except for just a comp cam insignia on one of them and versus a non insignia on the other one uh, it just boggles me it's just it's just crazy I, I don't know you tell me